There are only about 200 Carillons in North America, and this is the only Carillon at a public high school in North America. The late Les Corey, who was the president and the sort of like cheerleader of the Durfee Bells Preservation Society, um, I had established a dialogue with him when he was still with us. Through Les, we were contracted to remove the bells, put them in storage back at our foundry in Virginia for two years while this edifice was being built and prepared to then accept uh, the new instrument. A carillon, by definition, is a set of chromatically tuned bells, at least 23 of which, which is what you have here, as opposed to a chime, which might be a smaller set of bells, is what it, what it used to be. It used to be a 10-bell chime and then a 14-bell chime. You're kind of limited to what you can play. With two full octaves, you can play a sort of wide range of, of music, secular music, pop music, and all kinds of other stuff. To be able to offer that kind of opportunity to a high school age student is really unique. You play them sort of like a piano, but instead of playing with your fingers, you play sort of I, a joke, but you sort of play whack-a-mole with your fists, right, in that you close your fists up like this and you can play the keys that way. You also have pedals, so you can play four or even more notes. A student that is musically inclined and that has a history or experience with a piano or an organ is going to translate very well to this kind of instrument. It is not uncommon for these things to just completely go to the scrapyard and people can forget about them. And so good on the entire community for like standing behind the bells and, and making them a part of this new building.